What is up, guys? Welcome to our Week 5 battle for the NBA. This week, of course, we are taking on the Oakland Lux Rays, coached by Cole, originally coached, uh, coached by Adrian. Very sad that Adrian lost, uh, left the league, but it happens. People get replaced sometimes, so uh, he was very busy uh, with his life. There's was a lot of a commitment for him, so Cole took over. He made one change on the team, dropping Mr. Mime for Zatu, and uh, this is the team that you, that you see right here. Cloyster, Mega Diancy, Chandelure, Lucario, Latios and Garchomp. Our team, of course, if you didn't watch the team builder, be sure to check that out. It's the video that came out immediately prior to this one. And uh, our team is pretty well matched against his. Honestly, I didn't expect necessarily the Lucario to come, but it did. So we're going to have to deal with it. Uh, you can clearly see that this is a replay that we are going to be uh, playing for you guys. And I'm going to be going through my uh, play process uh, turn by turn. I'm going to play this on normal mode. And uh, we're going to hop right into it to show you guys what happened. So we're just going to switch sides here so we get his, uh, our perspective. He leads off with Chandelure as I lead off with my Scarf Mamoswine trying to cap, uh, catch his Diancy or his Garchomp. Uh, he swipes, uh, swaps in a Latios on a knockoff, which doesn't necessarily kill Chandelure, but it got rid of his potential specs and, and stuff like that, so he couldn't knock me out afterwards either, except with an Energy Ball. So I knock out his Latios right there with two knockoffs. He goes into Diancy, I go into my response for Diancy, being my Venusaur. He uh, goes for a Calm Mind, and I'm like, oh no, this is bad. Uh, it's alright, I have Scizor in the back though. Goes for another Calm Mind, I go for Giga Drain. Uh, does a good amount of damage, does 34. You guys are going to see the next roll right here. He goes for an Earth power does 68 to me my giga drain does 53 so it went from 34 to 53 that is an insane roll um venusaur was only here for the dnc so i let it go down here to the earth power and i'm gonna go into my next one which is of course mamoswine because it outspeeds and knocks it out with an earthquake mamoswine picking up its second kill of the season right there he now goes into, into his cloister i know this thing is gonna shell smash on me so i have to just earthquake he goes for the shell smash boosts up he has the white herb so i'm not going to be able to knock him out with the next earthquake but i know that there's no one move he can have to take me out in one hit except maybe razor shell so i stay in and i go for the earthquake i know th that i have things in the back i know that i have my thunderous which has of course thunder wave so i just fire off another earthquake uh, earthquake and i have no reason to sack off my thunder uh, my uh, mamoswine right there i switch into edward our scissor and uh, i'm just gonna go for uh i'm gonna take these hits uh he's not gonna crit the last one like he did on mamoswine luckily and I'm just going to fire off a bullet punch right here as he protects the scout. So that's kind of cool. Um, but that's not going to keep me from bullet punching again. I don't care if he's tank chomp. I just need to get this thing out of here or dead. So I go for another bullet punch. Does 22% to Lucario. And I was like, whoa, okay, that, that did good damage. And it turns out his Lucario is actually slower than our Scizor. And we're able to superpower this thing and knock it out. So one of his biggest threats actually to my team just drops right there. And uh, now he's going to go into Chandelure. And once again, he brought a slower Chandelure than my Scizor. I'm able to knock off, of course, its choice specs. And he goes for the Shadow Ball, of course, knocking us out from that range. No problem. We're going to go back into Mamoswine. And Mamoswine gets its third kill right here with yet another Earthquake. And uh, Cole makes an interesting play here going into uh, Cloyster. I thought he might Ice Shard me or something. But he actually ends up just sacking it to the Earthquake. I'm like, okay. And here he's going to go into Garchomp. I'm like, okay, if this thing is Scarfed, I need to make sure that I have Ice Shard online for it. So I'm going to switch into Thunderous. If I live and he's not Scarfed, he actually goes for the, out the Outrage and we live on 9%. Uh, if he's not Scarfed, I'm going to be able to hit him with an HP Ice and pretty much secure this game from here on. Go for the HP Ice. He lives on 4%. Gets off another Outrage. Gets fully confused on this turn, but it doesn't even matter because we have Memoswine in the back. And of course, like I said, I brought Ice Shard this week just for a Scarfed Garchomp in case. And uh, that's going to be it, guys. We are able to pick up our fourth victory of the season a uh, nice and clean 3-0 we are now 4-1 and one, and with a plus 14 differential so things are looking really really good we have two extremely difficult matchups coming up uh, in the next two weeks being Johnny the coach of the uh, Cologne Conch Elders who is absolutely monstrous as a player he's really good uh, he's also a very good team builder and of course somebody deemed to be probably the best player in the entire league uh, and one of my close personal friends as well as the number one seed in the NBA jar uh, is week seven for us. So that's going to be really, really hard. He's got a monstrous team with Lando I, uh, Mega Absol, and Manaphy. Like, just 
naming those three Pokemon scares the heck out of me. But uh, that's going to be it for this week, guys. If you guys enjoyed, uh, if you're still cheering on the Montreal Habsols after week five, then uh, make sure to hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, if you want to see all of these league matches. I know this was a really, really short commentary. It's only five minutes long at this point, but I mean, shorter videos are easier for you guys to watch, so that's fine by me. And uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Ciao.